Are you a sales manager or an AR clerk looking to disseminate the AR age trial balance among various stakeholders? But you're finding it cumbersome to navigate to the reported GP, then exporting it to Excel, formatting it, and then sending it to the various stakeholders. Oh, well, we, we've been using Excel now for years, and wouldn't it be great if we could use our knowledge of that to customize the reports, like the age trial balance, with table formats, uh, formulas, and so on. So in today's webinar, I'll show you how to how an Excel add-in called Jet Reports can bring in your data from GP, uh, so you can create an age trial balance uh, and add it to your toolbox. You can refresh the, your report directly in Excel, disseminate it via email as a dynamic report where the users can actually modify the filters themselves and refresh it, or you can send it out as a static report for uh, people who just need to see the numbers. Okay, with Microsoft's constantly improving Office mobile apps, you can also view the static reports on your phone uh, when you need the information to go. So a quick tour of Jet Reports in Excel. Uh, we have a, an, an age trial balance already set up. So it's just Excel, but what makes it really cool is all this data is being pulled in, as you can see from the ribbon here, um, from my GP data source, and we've selected this company, Profit Business Group, from my database. Then um, we can use filters that I've built, so we can decide, listen, I don't need all this information, it's too much to work with, I can restrict it to the territory I'm concerned about, and have a much uh, smaller report to deal with. So other features here include, up in the top, um, this is a completely point and click interface. You don't need to be a programmer, you just need to know what tables you need to pull your information from. So up at the top, you've got your design. This is where you can select the various uh, Jet Reports functions that tell where and how, uh, in where in GP you want to pull the data and how it's going to be pulled in. Um, then we've got a, a report wizard here where you will be guided by the system uh, in creating your report, a table builder, a drill down option. This isn't a functionality for this particular report, but you are able to create a report which allows you to zoom back um, to some more originating uh, data uh, for any of the entries that you have in your report. Another nice feature is uh, schedules where we can actually schedule um, when this report will run. Uh, we can select a location, perhaps you want it to be a shared network location so that people uh, who need the report can get to it easily. You can select a schedule frequency. Um, for instance, we can say we want it to be a, a monthly report. We can select what day of that month uh, it should print. We can select uh, people we want to send the email out to. Uh, we can also select the output format. There are various outputs, uh, PDF. We can choose to have a JET workbook uh, set, uh, sent out. Uh, this means that whoever receives it and has JET installed in their Excel and they have a license for it, they'll be able to refresh the reports much like we did earlier. Um, otherwise, you can send it out as a values-only workbook. Okay. So our report has refreshed. We have a much smaller report now. Uh, we're concerned about Territory 7, so this is good. We are in Excel, so we can go ahead and format this as to look how we like it. We might want it to be orange for some reason. Some people like orange. Uh, we could format this so it's a more readable currency format. Right? Uh, it's using Excel formulas uh, to get a summary detail. This one doesn't look particularly right. It's adding up the average days. It should really be an average. So let's change this formula a little bit. And there you have it. You have um, an age trial balance. Maybe you want to send it out to the people concerned uh, with Territory 7. So why don't we send it out to somebody who's on the go right now, who's doing a little bit of work on the field. 
here, let's take a look at an example of how it looks on a mobile device. In this case, it's an Android device, but it should be the same on iPhone, I believe. Um, so we have the exact same report um, now on the phone, but it is a static report, so we won't be able to do any of the refreshing. Uh, here's a really cool feature that I've just found on uh, Excel's mobile app. Um, that's not it. If we click this, it can open each record as a card. So you can see each individual customer in this report as a single card. You can click on it to expand, and we can take a look at the amounts owed by this particular company. Uh, particular customer. If you have any questions on anything you've seen in today's webinar or would like to talk uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP with us or um, JET reports, please visit us at www.profit.ca. Have a wonderful day and I thank you for viewing.